So in this video, I'm going to show you how to cut a short, the easiest, fastest way to cut a short without cutting the sides. If this is your first time here, I'm Ada, and I'm a Nigerian sewing blogger. I do videos on sewing tutorials, sewing tips, sewing tricks, and fashion business tips. Now, I've done a tutorial before on how to cut a short in this video, and that tutorial was like the easiest way to cut a short, and you guys loved it. Now, I noticed that there's another way to cut a short without cutting the sides. And I know you've seen most of these um, shorts in ready to wear, you've seen them in some jumpsuits, and you've been wondering, hmm, Ada's last tutorial did not show how to cut this particular type of short. Anyways, that is what I'm going to show you today. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to cut a short without cutting the sides, and also how to attach an elastic band, because this tutorial is going to have an elastic band to the waistline of the short. So are you excited about this? I know you are so just stick around if you're not subscribed to the family hit the subscribe button and let's just let's let's go into the tutorial okay let's just go so we are starting on a fold of two the width of this fabric is 34 inches i'm going to explain to you how i got 34 inches now my hips is 40 divided by 10 divided by 4 it gives me 10 then plus one inch is allowance that is 11 so 11 inches plus i sort of added five inches for my crouch allowance which gives me 16 then it's 16 plus one inch extra allowance in case anything goes wrong you guys know how we do this thing in sewing that is 17 so 17 times 2 will give me 34 now the 17 represents one part of you know my hips is 40 okay so one like one part of the total of my hips that is 17 so times 2 will give me 34 so the width of this fabric on one side you know it's on a fold of two so the width of this fabric on one side is 34 and on the other side is 34 so that's why we have a fold of two 34 34 and i took my time to explain this to you guys so where i have like 40 which is my hips in case you want to make yours just insert like your hips measurement and follow the other measurements do you understand so let me say your hips is 38 so just do 38 divided by 4 plus other other measurements i have here that if you want to work with my measurement if you want to formulate your own fine but this is how i got the width of the fabric i'm working it so my the width of my fabric is 34 i want to get the middle of the fabric like the center which is 17 so i marked 17 inches across the entire length of the fabric When I was done marking through, I used my ruler and I connected my lines together. You guys, I know I'm supposed to change that broken ruler. Just forgive me for this tutorial. I'll try to buy a new one tomorrow. So now I want to mark the length of my shirt and I'm going to be taking 19 inches for the length of my shirt. So I marked 19 inches across the entire length of the fabric. Again, see there's going to be a lot of marking with this particular short tutorial ball in the end <laughs> is what the marking so after marking 19 inches across the entire length i used my ruler and i connected the, all the markings together now i want to mark my crouch point so from the from the top which is where like the length of my fabric is starting from i marked nine inches and i did this across the entire length of the fabric as well I'm sure you're going to wonder like why is Ada going all the way through the whole fabric this is because I want everything to be in order precise I don't want any jumping jumping because one side is the front side and the other side is the back side so precision is needed here so after marking of course I connected all the markings together with a straight line now I'm just tagging it front and back. So this side is my front side, which is the first place I tagged. And this place I'm tagging presently is my back side. And I also tagged the back, the other fold as well. So that when I'm done cutting, I will still know where my front and where my back is. Now from the center of my fabric, I marked 11 inches backward. I want to say something in this tutorial. We are going to be working with our hips measurement, not our waist measurement, because this tutorial it has an elastic band so we're working with our 
hips measurement okay so i marked 11 inches across the entire length of the fabric i did this for the front part so this is the front part that i'm marking presently after marking i drew connected my markings with a straight line i also went to the other side of the fabric which is also like the back part and i measured 11 inches backwards so so after measuring 11 inches across the entire length of the fabric i connected them with a straight line <laughs> my voice is cracking guys so i want to insert my crouch now so from that 11 inches point i marked three inches forward okay 3.5 inches rather forward as the width of my crouch if you watched my previous tutorial on how to cut a short you know i took three inches for the width of my crouch so that is what i'm trying to replicate here as well if you want to watch that tutorial it's a really detailed tutorial check the link in the description box so i'm just drawing a straight line so i won't confuse you guys here if i was just marking by myself without filming i wouldn't draw a straight line but i'm drawing a straight line here so i won't confuse you guys so after measuring the three inches i just drew my crouch curve like so as you can see smoothed it in so that is the crouch curve i formed the crouch for the front part now i'm going to go to the back side and i'm going to mark five inches now i added like um i think 1.5 extra inches for the for the back crouch and this is because of the wideness of the butt so you need like more allowance so now because i marked two inches here before i started the crouch curve and this is because i didn't want the curve to start before the allowance you guys know we have like 1.5 inches extra allowance added to the back okay so i marked two inches so i know that my straight line that allowance is straight before we get into the curve i don't know if i'm confusing you guys but that is what it is just do what i did over there so from the down part for the hem i marked 2.5 inches backwards from the crouch point measurement and i drew a straight line see guys if you're not understanding my explanation just look at what i'm doing okay and i went over to the front side and i marked 2.5 inches backwards as well and i drew a strand a slanted line not a straight line a slanted line okay when i was done marking that's when i was done drawing the straight line the next thing i went ahead to do was you know normally a uh, for shorts around the waistline the one that joins to the back is not exactly straight so i want to insert that curve from the front that goes up to the back so i marked one point one inch one inch then i came over to this side and marked two inches and i connected them like so i drew a straight line connected them together then i wanted to mark the point where the curve will stop in the front part so i marked five inches and i used my ruler and i connected it like so so if you see like your shorts around the waistline that at gets to the back that's for the front part is a little curvy this is how they insert it so when i was done joining or the joining marking or the marking i just used my ruler and i cut through so i just first of all cut the first thing i did was i cut out the excess fabric that we don't need so that you guys just have like an overview of what the front and the back part looks like trust me this short this tutorial like the, is very very easy to cut, even easier than the other one so when i was just when i was done cutting the excess i just followed the outline i have and i just cut out the main piece for the front and the back part now i was trying to explain something around that crouch point for the front part we have like three inches width for the crouch point 
for the back part we have five inches and this is because of the butt the butt is wide and is big and we need more fabric to accommodate it so in case you are wondering why we mark three inches on one side and five inches on the other side is because of the butt okay so when i was done marking this is what it looks like this is the front part that's the back part that's the elevation the allowance for the bum bum okay <laughs> for the butt so you're going to add like extra uh, in the around the crouch point and around the waistline so that i can accommodate the wideness of the butt you understand so when i was done marking moved over to sewing it and i just lap them on each other like so and i'm going to sew along that axis so i lapped it on each other like so you can see everything is precise and well aligned because of our markings so i'm going to sew along that axis for both sides of the short which was, so i took it about my sewing machine and i joined them together very simple guys very very simple this thing took me it didn't take me long to sew so it won't take you long as well if you're watching up to this point and you're enjoying this video please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't so i've joined both sides now to join the crouch points together i'm going to turn one part to the front side and i'm going to put it inside the other shot like so so it's more like um front to front back to back and i'm going to align the center of the shirts like so i'm going to secure with an office pin then i just aligned the remaining part of the shorts together i made sure the front part lapped with the front part that the front part of both shorts lapped together i also made sure that the back part lapped together as well i don't know but i think i prefer this method of sewing shorts because it's very very easy so i'm just going to sew along that axis yeah that's what i'm going to do so i took it out to my sewing machine and i joined the both sides the left hand side and the right hand side of the shorts together guys it was very easy to sew take it from me <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. It means a lot to me. So I joined both sides together and I did like a zigzag stitch to lock my raw edges. So when I was done, I took it back to my sewing mat and I spread it out like so. Now, remember in the intro, I told you this short has an elastic band and I didn't just want to fold the waistline. I wanted to have like a band. So this band is 3.2 inches in width. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to join it along that side. When I'm done joining, I'm going to fold it into two like so so i'm done sewing and folding into two this is how it looks like so you have an idea what it looks like and what i did here was i just used my pin and i secured the band to the shop like so and i did it across like round the whole waistline of the shot and i took it about my sewing machine and i joined it but i left like one inch space i didn't join one i left one inch space so that i can add i can insert my elastic from that point so i've taken it to my sewing machine right now and i am joining it together So when i was done joining this is what we have here you can see how the waist looks snatched already that's it that is the one inch opening <laughs> so this is my elastic band this is a one inch elastic band and i've already attached my safety pin to the band what i'm going to do here is that one inch opening i left i'm just going to push the 
elastic band into the waistband and i'm just going to drag and pull drag and pull till all the elastic band goes in and you don't want to make your elastic band really tight so you just want to make sure that it gathers the waist together and you still have like ease of wearing it's not so tight it's not going to press all your intestine <laughs> together <laughs> so when i was done i'm just going to sew it like so so i took it out to my sewing machine and i joined the elastic band together i did the back stitch severally back to back back to back and i cut off the excess elastic some people do a zigzag stitch but me i do a straight stitch and it's been working for me after that i just joined the remaining part of the band that was open to the other side and for the hem of my shorts i did like a hemming stitch and ladies and gentlemen this is what we have here this is this short it's so beautiful very easy to wear if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and come back for more tutorials